All right, let's bring in David Bonson with the Bonson Group, CIO. David, let's start there, shall we, on a good number. Consumer sentiment seems pretty strong. That's a good sign for the economy, right? No, it's, it's <laughs> irrelevant for the economy. Oh, it's a humbug. lagging indicator. I, I, I don't want to do the ball humbug thing, but I always get did. asked about consumer sentiment. I always bring up business <laughs> sentiment. Business sentiment is the, right. the indicator that we care but about right now. But this is an economy. CapEx is Two everything. Two-thirds of this economy is based on consumer spending, right? So it's got to count for something. That's right. It's a huge baked-in number to the denominator. But we're looking for what are the catalysts to grow, which means you need something additive. The consumer number, and first of all, sentiment is uh, backward-looking to how they felt I last know. month. Yeah, right. yeah, Mr. You get Grinch. The idea. I'm By sorry, the way, you, just... you, you look much younger, Stuart. You look a lot younger today. <laughs> Thank you for saying that, David. I will take back the Grinch <laughs> comment. Uh, what's driving the markets right now? Because, you know, it's, it's a little distressing. I said this earlier that you look down to pick up your pen and then you look up again, you're down another 200 points. What's driving this right now? Well, let's go back to December the 4th. It was a Tuesday, and mm. I. Um, I hesitate to bring up, but there was a tweet that went out where somebody said, I am tariff man, uh -huh. and we are 3,000 3, points down on the Dow since that tweet went out. And if you recall, we had been up 1,000 points in the week before that. November actually ended up on the month in markets. So it was all down and to I think one that tweet? Right Oh, no, 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 no. But I'm just saying the time, the timing, the beginning of everything started mm. with trade war. And then obviously we have a lot of headwinds around concern about the Fed yeah. and extracting liquidity out of the market. But right now, here's my good news. Here's the, the Christmas cheer. Um, this is not fundamentally driven. It is fear driven. There's awful sentiment. Right. And right now there is there are no buyers coming in. And so prices have a difficult time being able to move. Fundamentally, the markets have gotten a lot cheaper. You have to believe that a recession is coming next year to believe that earnings growth will decelerate exactly. to a point to justify. And, and, listen, and I do don't you, believe that. Yeah, do I you, do believe we're going to see a rebound. But I understand right now that the sentiment is negative enough. It's going to be hard to see a catalyst higher, at least until we get into Q1. I, it feels like the markets are telling us it's going to be economic Armageddon next year. But I don't see a recession in the next 12, 18 months at the very least. Do you? No, no, I agree with you. And I will add, though, that it is that business investment that I talked about yeah, when, when you yeah. asked me about the consumer. The CapEx numbers feel to me like they're dropping. And mm. I don't and I think that that represents a missed opportunity. We need higher productivity. And if the CapEx numbers accelerate, which comes from capital spending, business investment, um, and I think that you're going to have to get the trade war issues out of the way to really put the gas pedal down there. Yeah. But I agree. I don't see any recession coming. The Fed needs to avoid a policy mistake. And for all the talk this week about interest rates, and this is maybe the most important thing I could share today. The biggest issue is their balance sheet yes. um, extraction, how Taking they're the slowing down, out. how they're... Yes. That's right. They, they have to slow down the extraction of liquidity from this economy. Very quickly, though, as you look at this market, are you brave enough to jump in? Are there some really good value stocks right now in this environment? The answer is yes. There are mm. definitely some very good value stocks. We are not pouring in. We're not looking at this like back up the truck and buy here, <laughs> primarily because we don't feel that we have to rush in. We, we added a little yesterday to Cisco. We're adding a little bit to IBM. We're adding a little bit to Exxon, all our names that we own and my family and my firm as well. But the fact of the matter is that we're going to rebalance client portfolios in right. January, as we do every year. I think you're going to see us nibbling around the edges in a lot of our equity positions. All right. You started on bar humbug, but I think you ended with a ho, 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 I think. And you said I looked, that Stuart looked younger. So overall, David, very good performance. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas. All right, David Bonson. Good stuff.